Hey guys, how's it going? All right, welcome back to another haunted evening. And we are using this stamp. This is um, also by Stampendous. And um, apparently I have like rediscovered Stampendous lately. So um, I've been using several, several of those stamps. So we're gonna go ahead and stamp it again. And I have already pre-stamped this on um, on black and on white. So, uh, because I had to trim it down a little bit. So, I'm going to take this off. The only thing I don't like about this is it's on this weird cling thing. I don't know if you can see that. But sometimes I like, I used to try to peel those off and then I'd mess it up. I did not realize that would actually stick to stuff. So, just, you know, just a note. But I love this lady. Look at her eyes. She's just... It's like the wood fairy or something. I don't know. The lady in the woods. So, we've got already trimmed down here. Oh, let me grab her. Okay. And I also went ahead and I embossed um, this. Like this, this tree background. Um, I don't know if you can see it on the black, but it is there. Like a birch tree. Uh, so birch trees not just for winter anymore anyway so we're just gonna tape that up probably should have had that um pre-taped if i would have thought but this is gonna be honestly the gluing is the only thing that's gonna take take a while for this one so and i'm gonna go ahead and use um not even my regular glue i'm going to use i have the glossy accent sitting here so I'm not really glossying this card up because I don't think it really needs it. And I apologize if there's like a glare there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to trim that little bit off or not. But anyway. Um, so I'm kind of back to the crow stuff. And so I'm going to add some crows in her forest here. Um, I'm, actually, I'm actually just going to go ahead and tape that down. I won't do too much of the edge edge in case I want to like slip stuff under there. I'm not sure yet. So it should be fine. Okay. Get that off my fingers. Like I said, I also have this in gray, which I also want you to see kind of before we start. So, um, this is kind of the way, same layout that I had this set up. So, same basic deal here. I think this will be enough sticky. Usually, like if they're super embossed, like I guess uh, like a deeper embossing is what I'm starting to say, then I feel like I have to put more tape. But if it's just, I don't know, a little embossed, I guess you could say a lower embossing effect, then I don't because it seems to uh, always stick to it quite well. So I don't really worry about it. And this should be good with just one large piece and we're done ready for the good stuff I think so I really I do like it in gray I'm not sure if the silver is a bit too much I don't know maybe the more I think about it like maybe a thinner um, layer around it so I have these little guys and then I have some long branches I can't remember how I had this laid out. Maybe one up there, one up there. Possibly one across there. I don't know. I don't want to cover up her face, you know. Maybe not that at all. Maybe a shorter branch, which I can't seem to pick up. A lot of them are going that direction. 
I really like that little loopy vine. Maybe I should cut some vine type things. I don't know. No, I don't like that. Let's try the bigger branch. Okay, I think I like that. I think I could live with that. So let's put that to the side just in case I need something different for over here. Because that could have also been the pieces that I plan on using over here. So I like that large crow. But... Don't know. Have, the only ones I have left are these long ones. So maybe just one going up the side there. Maybe we'll take this one off. I cannot pick up stuff tonight. I want I want to see her eye. I think that's like the most uh, the most mysterious thing of it. So, all right. So hopefully I won't have to glue too much of the branches on here because I could get some glue on these larger pieces. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. I want it to come just to the bottom there. All right, and I think this will be, I can get a little here. Well, with this little tip, it's not too bad. It's almost like a, uh, what do you call that? A, like the needle nose tips. I have those, whatever they're called. That's not what they're called, but I hardly ever get to use them, I feel like. Need to, uh, need to use them more often. They would come in quite handy, actually, so. Okay. Just a nice big one down there. I love that guy. I think he's gorgeous. Okay. So that looks pretty good for that one. It's a little simple, but we're going to put something um, else on the inside here in a minute. So these guys are hanging out together. Creating that mysterious forest song. <laughs> yeah, maybe next time I'll try some vines. I think that could look quite, quite good. Maybe a, just a nice black vine, you know. So hopefully you'll be able to see him. Plus, <laughs> he'll be shiny because I have glue all over him. That is not intentional, but you know how it goes. I feel like I need just a touch right there, too. Just going to get glue everywhere. I don't know if it matters. As long as the bottom hangs on. I feel like we're kind of okay. Ah, it moved. Well, there's going to be more shine in this stuff card. Oh, and with glossy accents, it's going to be really shiny, so I probably should have used regular glue. Never really thought about that, but oh well. Anyway, okay, so now let me put the lid on that so it doesn't dry up. So far, these little ones have not, like, clogged. I'm super excited. I like those better than the, the larger ones. Okay, so, oh, I forgot we don't have, well, I pre-cut this to do stamp an extra one, so I'll just tape that and we'll stamp on it. No, one should do it. And let me just move that off. This I just got from AliExpress in maybe Thursday's meal, something like that. Um, and I, <laughs> I opened it and cut it and it had a rough time, but anyway, it's like a little wooded scene. So, and things are already falling off. 
probably due to me, not, not the actual stamps. So we might just stamp a large tree here at the bottom, or maybe over to the side, just part of the tree. And then I love this, Lost in the Woods. Or no, this is In the Dead of Night. No, I don't want that. Here it is. Or Dark and Twisted, that could work. Something That thing fell off again. Okay, Lost in the Woods. I could see myself definitely like using that um, multiple times for sure. And this also might look good in a gray ink, um, but just for effect, I'm gonna do black for now. Uh, right there won't stamp okay there we go all right and then you can you'll just have to write your message around and down I guess so that will work I'll probably just cut another one uh, I'll use it with the gray since it's already on there I might just do a white for the white or I might just use the back of that the one that we stamp if it doesn't show through too bad, don't you think? So there we go, guys. Those are our uh, mysterious haunted woods cards. All right, guys, I will talk to you later. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching.